I'll see you tomorrow morning. Okay, thanks for accepting the interview. Bye. Okay, I'm gonna talk about. Uh, I'm not supposed to talk about. Hi everyone, welcome to this video. Uh, today uh, I just got a phone call from Kelvin. He's a doctor from uh, Abba Hospital. Uh, he's gonna have an interview with me for, uh, tomorrow morning. And yeah, I'm gonna bring you guys to that interview. Let's go. Uh, good afternoon, uh, Kelvin. Thanks for uh, Thank accepting you. the interview. It's okay. Um, Mind introduce yourself, like your name, your age, and what's your career? Uh, I'm, my name is Kelvin, I'm 25 years old and now working in Hospital Ampang as a junior house officer. Okay, um, what motivated you to, uh, to pursue this career? Actually, actually, I just want to know more about uh, our health uh, because I don't want to be, you know, I mean, it be blur. It, anything happens to my family members or myself, I can know the uh, disease first hand and I can know how to uh, deal with it and stuff like that. Like, I met some uh, few cases like uh, the families really do know what's going on with the patients and stuff. Okay, so Maybe means that um, like is there anyone who motivated you? I, I don't think so. No, okay. I think I motivate myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Then how okay. passionate are you in uh, your career? Uh, passionate, I, maybe I enjoy the working hours. I was trying to do something to make me uh, I mean, better. Okay. Uh, I don't know, passionate is still a long way. <laughs> <laughs> um, then what skill is necessary for you to uh, enter this kind of career? Skill, I think uh, endurance. <laughs> and fast learning because we have to learn so much in, a short so, time. Uh, in such a short time and everybody expect you to be a fully functional doctor uh, once you start working so okay. yeah, you really need to learn uh, you need to be fast be fast you, know, you need to learn a lot faster and you need to endure lengthy working hours maybe scolding by your superiors <laughs> Mentally and uh, physically demanding. Yeah, it's a mentally and uh, physically demanding jobs. <laughs> okay. Um, how does the market look like now? Like, what if I after I graduate, uh, will I be able to uh, easily get a job or? As a doctor. Yeah. No. Now the situation in Malaysia is uh, people we don't have enough budget located in the uh, healthcare. Okay. So now, actually, actually we are lacking of doctors now. Not the every hospital facing the same problem. Not enough of. Uh, houseman, but the government doesn't have uh, increased their budget to hire new houseman. So, it's <coughs> so every year, uh, houseman have to wait longer and longer for their post. Now it's already like eight to ten months already, and they started to <coughs> bring in new project called what contract contract base. So by next year, they are starting to hire contract uh, contract doctors. Uh, I mean not a permanent job in government. So we are facing a problem like this, so in the future, I don't think it will improve any further. I don't think it will improve. Maybe the uh, waiting time will be longer, and there's a few posts for doctors. So the future is indeed uh, grim, I can say. <laughs> for now, I hopefully the uh, government will do something about it. Maybe uh, locate more budget or... Mm, then how many chemistry courses did you take after you graduated in secondary school? Maybe one semester in university. One semester? One, just one semester. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, then after you have studied uh, like chemistry during your secondary and or after your uni uh, during your university, does it like affect like what you have in mind of studying doctor? Like would it like would chemistry like affect you like maybe I don't want to do this or maybe you love chemistry and then you want to pursue this career? Uh, Does it affect you? Like when you <laughs> I, I think it's more of more biology thing. <laughs> but chemistry indeed help la. It shows some like, uh, interaction of the drugs and our body and the hormones, stuff like that. Uh -huh. um, but you still have to take chemistry, right? Yeah. <laughs> In the first semester. <laughs> okay. It's a long, long time ago. But I think chemistry indeed help la. 
So it means that if what that that's what you say doesn't mean that uh, chemistry is not demanding in like your daily working routine. Mm, for now, no, <laughs> not really, <laughs> not really demanding. <laughs> okay. Then what's the first hand and second hand experience that you would like to share with me, like before I go to pursuing this uh, career? I mean, experience the uh, this job. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Although you have been working for like five months. <laughs> <laughs> Like what kind of what kind of thing? Um, like experience that I need. Oh, I see. I mean, like, do I have to work in a small company first, then uh, uh, to get my experience? Then after that, I only like go to a big company. No, no. Actually, you can just jump straight into wherever you want. In, in our career, uh -huh. we have nothing. We have no no way to go. We must start our uh, practice in. The government hospital as a house officer, then we can proceed to medical officer and so on and so on. So actually, just prepare mentally and physically lah. Because somebody cannot take it, you know, they uh, started the work uh, in the first few days mm -hmm. and they decided to quit. Because of the pressure? Because of pressure, mentally exhausted, physically exhausted. You know, we work from like 6 in the morning until 10 o'clock in the night. Yeah. Then they say they have no life. And or they, they just quit the job. So like before you start the housemanship, you really need to uh, prepare this. Uh, I mean, prepare to lose your life <laughs> at first, and then later on, all, all this will cut out, uh, will catch up. Uh, so, does it mean that uh, like your career, like, do you have any second thought, like, why did you choose uh, this yeah, yeah. after all this? Definitely, uh, especially the first few days of. Working, working. <laughs> because I was uh, waiting for six, six to eight months already. Mm. So I was on holiday, holiday. Every day is a good day. I can sleep <laughs> until every, what, whenever I want. Then right, right after I started this job, so I was working from six to ten at night. So it's quite, quite different culture, la. I mean, culture yeah, shock. Yeah, yeah. Culture and shock. It's also quite like sudden, yeah. sudden like oh, you have always been like yeah, relaxing yeah, yeah. and always in a relaxing state. <laughs> suddenly, like, drastically change. So now I think. I'm used to it and I'm quite enjoying it actually. So you do, do you love love your job now? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I think I'm quite enjoying the job, you know. Although you still get coding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, from time to time. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, when, um, what was the lesson that you learned past, from the past mistakes you have done? Although it's like just five months, but did you? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's I, the lesson you learned? I think uh, during my first few months, mm -hmm. it was like, uh, we try to do our job faster, we try to be faster so we just uh, doesn't care about the patient much. I mean we just treat the disease but not the patient. And I think after all this time, I learned that if we uh, try to treat the patient instead of the disease, I mean, we can learn more, uh, the patient will be more, great, uh, more gratitude to us and yeah, I think it's better for both the doctors and the patient won't feel that it's a job. You feel like this a uh, kind deed to the, another human being. You know? They are helping each other. And it's not a job. So you feel better at them. Would you choose the same path if you have a choice to choose again? Hmm. Like another career, <laughs> different career? Or it could be like something else, like different from the doctor science stuff? I think I'll just choose the same path. Lah. You would? So you have no regrets? I have no regrets. <laughs> actually, I have no regrets. You have no regrets? I'm, I'm actually... Because you're quite enjoying right now. I'm, I'm quite enjoying the working this work. Right yeah, I can know more. So do you have any targets? Like, targets? Yeah, like for a career path. Yeah, of course. First, I want to finish this housemanship. <laughs> and then maybe I can, I have a chance to pursue further study in this yeah. half to eventually become a specialist or something. And maybe working in a private hospital. <laughs> private hospital. <laughs> so where are you planning like to further study? Mm, I don't know, because now the 
situation has changed already. The government no longer sponsor any overseas uh, studies because you know low of budget. <laughs> so I don't know what it will be like in the future. We will see. Uh, maybe taking the MLCP exam. Who knows? If I interested in the medical. So there's a saying that says like if you love a job, it doesn't feel like you're working. Do you feel that? Like, like for your career? Right now? Yeah. Uh, maybe. But it's still a job for me. <laughs> it's still a job for you. <laughs> but it's uh, getting better every day. Yeah, I can say. But does, is there anything to motivate you to work, uh, like to get up every day to, to, to work, uh, work every day? Yeah, actually, uh, you see the patient. Like the, from the first day they came in like with uh, four limbs paralyzed, cannot even move, very anxious looking, very sick looking. Then uh, right after every investigation you do, uh, every things you have done, a few days later, the patient actually can uh, just walking around the ward. Mm. And then they put a smile on their face when they saw you. Uh, and this put some, I mean, good pleasure on you. Uh, so yeah, it felt good, like helping the. Yeah, I can see team. a drastically, uh, drastic change in the first day they came in, and then you can see they can walk in around the ward. Um, so do you spend spend yeah. like a lot of time with the patients right now? Uh, right now? Yeah. I mean after after he has been discharged. Uh no, I mean like uh, now like in work. Do you, do you spend a lot of time? Yeah, we need to spend a lot of time there. You know, taking the plus. I get a plus, do the, all the physical examination, chatting, asking some history, and we will come back uh, to them uh, from time to time. Uh. And but we still got a lot of patients, so not everyone got a lot of time. To, you know. mm -hmm. okay, that's it. Uh, uh, thank you for accepting the interview. Okay. Sorry for the lousy interview. Uh, it's okay. <laughs>